Right, welcome to Cryptopia DM. Back once again. I hope everyone is having a good day or good evening wherever you are. What I want to talk about is the effect that the climate agenda is going to have on the cryptocurrency market. And by that, what I mean is a lot of these coins are at the top right now. They ain't going to be on the top real soon because eventually they're going to pull the plug. Okay, because Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other coins do not fit into the climate agenda, they have no place in the future okay they're not green enough and that's just the bottom line and they're already sowing the seeds they're already you know mumbling the narrative but the time will come where the narrative the, the, the voices are going to get louder and louder okay and choices are going to be made and it's as simple as that and these are just facts right i don't want anyone to get emotional because it's not about being emotional it's just about looking at the facts looking at the technology okay now this is an article that came out november the 18th it says everything you need to know about eco-friendly cryptocurrencies. Now, for a while, a lot of the narrative was that cryptocurrencies are bad for the environment. Now, they're saying, oh, cryptocurrencies are bad for the environment. However, there are cryptocurrencies that are eco-friendly. So they're already preparing the way because the cryptocurrencies which have been chosen by the system to be used by the system are all eco-friendly. And if you look at the Interledger protocol, which I'm going to show you, Every single coin that's on the Interledger protocol are eco-friendly. They're designed with um, the climate change agenda in mind. They're greener by a country mile. Okay. So let's have a look what it says. It says when Tesla chief Elon Musk said that the electric car maker will no longer accept Bitcoin as payment for vehicles, his value plummeted. Musk said he was concerned over the impact that cryptocurrency is having on the environment. But are there any eco-friendly alternatives? Yeah, I wonder, are there any? Um, of course there are. But it's funny that in this article, by the Times, if you look at the, at the coins they mentioned, two of the coins they mentioned are actually part of the Interledger Protocol. Okay? IOTA and XRP. Okay, the narrative is already out there. It's going to get louder and louder. And then action is going to be made. All right. When they bring in this new financial system with the CBDCs, the blockchains that are going to be used and uh, which are going to interoperate with it are going to be environmentally friendly blockchains with low transaction fees, which can be inclusive for everyone, right? So that they can bank the unbanked. And it's simple as that, all right? Ethereum and um, Bitcoin, they're not scalable by design. They were designed that way, they're not scalable. They're not environmentally friendly, okay? And they're not inclusive. The fees are just too high for the average person on the planet. Maybe not the average middle-class person, but the average person on the planet. Fees are way too high. And these are just the facts. Now, you could talk about Lightning Network and you could talk about ETH2 and all this stuff. That's good for you, okay? But at the end of the day, <laughs> the technology already exists, all right? You want to get strung along by all them upgrades, be strung along. We already see who has been chosen, and it's not ETH, and it's not Bitcoin. Their their time is now, but their time isn't forever. Right. So popular cryptocurrencies, which is most environmentally friendly, this is from May, and they're gonna go through a little list down here, and and it's just gonna show you just a little bit of the difference. Look at IOTA, look at XRP, right, and look at the difference even between IOTA, XRP, and Dogecoin. Massive difference. And Cardano, massive difference. But these coins are still fairly environmentally friendly. Okay, and with the use of renewables, you can kind of um, offset that to a point. But then look what happens when you start looking at Litecoin. When you start looking at Bitcoin Cash. When you start looking at Ethereum. When you start looking at Bitcoin. And you see there's a major problem there. Okay. There you got things like Algorand, another, um, you can go and read. I'm going to put the link to these articles in the description box. So you can start reading, okay? Algorand, they know what it's all about, sustainable blockchain. You know, of course they know. They've been chosen, so they know they know <laughs> what the agenda is. They've been designed to survive, right? Now, they got the pure proof of stake, all right? So you can go check that out. And they're a part of the Interledger Protocol, all right? XDC. XCC as a green coin. All right. XCC coin stands out as a green coin with the following features and benefits. 
um, energy saving as a green coin fcc coin saves energy and does not consume a lot of energy like bitcoin and other high energy consuming cryptocurrencies you see the narrative no proof of work does not require intense mines and intensive mining long-term feasibility optimal performance fcc token okay that's fcc so we've got algo fcc iota has been mentioned already uh, um uh, xrp you mentioned and you know xlm is a pretty much a, a, a copy of xrp environmentally friendly all right this is the xrp ledgers website and they again they know what time it is they're highlighting these things for a reason all right now let's have a look how does xrp compare to other cryptocurrencies to other currencies i should say and they got a pdf that you can go and read but what i want to do is uh, is the interactive tool there we go so this is like comparing like this is this is crazy right look at bitcoin kilowatt per hour look at ethereum's and look at xrp's it's just there's no comparison right now credit cards i mean come on xrp's way more energy consuming than a credit card system however however the credit card system has to go because it doesn't do settlement it's all based upon having cash cash has to go look at cash yeah cash is gonna go okay there was another part of it as well that i wanted to get there you go okay You got your INAT bar. INAT bar report showcases the potential of IOTA and other um, distributed le ledger technologies to achieve the UN sustainable development goals. Okay, this is real, right? The UN has sustainable development goals. They, there's a climate change of agenda. All right, and you can go and you can read this. All right, see all these coins were designed and set up to survive. Right, they're chosen. And that's what you're going to find out. All right. Just like with anything else, the winners and losers are ultimately chosen. Sometimes it's by design, through design. Bitcoin is a loser. And you're going to find out in the long term. It's winning right now, but it was meant to win right now. Okay. Inatbar hosts global conversation on blockchain for climate action with Climate Ledger Initiative. Bitcoin can't be a part of that. Okay. Oh yeah, interesting. And you love these are some of the Inatba members, man. It's quite interesting. You know, they got a lot of members, man. Go check that out. Look at this. Um, UN. Right. Biggest financial players back net zero. Over 160 firms with 70 trillion in assets have joined forces behind a common goal: steer the global economy towards net zero emissions. And deliver the Paris Agreement goals. Okay, how are they going to do that with Bitcoin, man, and Ethereum? It's not going to happen, right? They're going to switch this new. They're going to switch over to a new financial system, which is going to be built upon econ economically friendly um, blockchains, right? And blockchains um, that are going to be used for smart contracts and so forth, like Solano, right? Which has already been picked by the World Economic Forum. They're, they're going to be used because why they're they were designed to be economically friendly to be scalable Let's see if we can get that these these Solana was designed man it's just better than ethereum man it's just <laughs> there's no denying it all right it's designed to be scalable cheap and eco-friendly already and that's why the world Eco economic forum picked it you didn't see it picking ethereum did it because they know what's going on all right certain cryptocurrencies certain blockchains have been chosen they've already been chosen okay it's in the design um cop 26 goals secure global net zero by mid-century and keep 1.5 degrees within reach okay and part of that is they like 
um, Sanak Reach, he said they're going to bring the whole global financial system um, into that net zero, man. So part of that is the interledger protocol. The interledger protocol is economically friendly. And so what's going to happen is that top 10 is going to be dominated by the interledger protocol tokens. Right. And you ain't going to see Bitcoin and Ethereum in there no more. Now, you might think I'm crazy, but that's all right. But I'm just telling you what's going to happen. This agenda is real. It's a real agenda and they don't fit the agenda and that's it. It's going to be over. When they decide to take action, when they're ready for the new system to come completely online, it's going to be bye bye to Bitcoin, bye bye to Ethereum. Now, they might survive in some lesser capacity, but that's exactly what it shall be, a lesser capacity. So, you know, and it's as simple as that. So hopefully, man, you know, you kind of see where I'm coming from and you can do your own research, man, and and, and invest wisely. All right, because you damn sure that these elite level investors, they're investing based upon sustainability. So shouldn't you think about it? All right. So like the video, share the video, subscribe. It's been Crypto per DM. I'm out.